Hey guys, Fazzy back here, and in today's video, I am going to go over everything that you can expect in update 8 of my NHL 24 custom roster. This update is going to be primarily focused around the trade deadline, as I am recording this on the day of the deadline itself. A lot of trades, a lot of moves are going down. Everything is going to be updated in game now. I do have a few other surprises that are coming in this update, but with that being said, let's get into today's video. So starting things off today with the previously mentioned trade and signing transaction updates. So over the course of the last month, I think we all know the NHL has changed quite drastically. There have been quite a bit of trades, quite a bit of contract extensions, free agent signings, and everything in between. So basically I have gone through and just updated everything as I have seen it online. So now we should have the closest rosters to what NHL teams have in real life. One thing I do have to mention, it is unfortunate that we cannot move the draft picks around. So a lot of the teams that were just trading players for like a third, fourth, second, first round pick, whatever it may be, unfortunately that won't be reflected in this update. The only way to update the draft picks themselves is to merge rosters with EA but then you lose all the roster editing that I did on the NHL players in the new rating system. All of that would be lost and had to have been redone. All the created players would have to be reassigned. Unfortunately, I don't have that time to do that this year. But all the transactions have been put through, so everyone should at least appear on the right teams now. Up next is updates to created teams. So I gotta admit, this is something that I probably should have done earlier in the year, and that is basically a lot of the created teams, especially the legendary ones of old NHL teams and all that stuff, weren't totally up to date when it comes to jerseys. So I've gone back and edited a few of them, as many as I could in the time frame. So now you should see more accurate alumni teams that you can substitute and use into franchise mode. And really the reason I'm doing this now is just because at the start of the year when I was adding all these teams in, there was so much to do with all the created players and all of that that I didn't really have time to go super in-depth with the customization. But now, for the most part, that should be fixed on a select group of teams. And lastly is continued roster adjustments. So again, just like every roster update that I have put out and will continue to put out, it's not just the transactions and the contracts, everything like that, that I'm putting through. I always go through and just do slight adjustments and tweaks to the overall ratings in game. Obviously stuff does change throughout the year, and now that I have the new rating system fully implemented in the roster, it's not anything as crazy as it maybe once was, but still I'm going through, and especially with the strength, balance, and poise stats, because there you can kind of still influence the overall without changing anything too much that I've already done. So I have gone through the NHL, again nothing too crazy, but you are going to see some slight changes with that, and some slight changes with potential as well. And one of the cool kind of easter egg things that I added in here, as you'll see, for all of X-Tech's and Tactics's created teams that they've had throughout the years, I've gone back, put in similar rosters to what they had throughout their series. So you'll see here on the Seattle Storm Bears, I've gone through, I've created like the Cedric Corys, the Slava Zakhanovs, the Trevor Kachucks, all these cool players that we would have known from those prior seasons. So for those select teams, I have gone through, created a few players for each one. So now if you want, you can substitute that team into franchise mode and kind of put your own spin on things and play with those teams. None of these created players will affect franchise mode at all unless you want them as they are all assigned to the international teams. So the only way they'll get into franchise mode themselves is if you manually go to the international teams and move them over, or if you substitute one of these teams in. But I think that is going to do it for this quick video going over everything that you can expect in update 8 of my NHL 24 custom roster. Again, we are getting closer to the end of the year roster wise, everything like that. Probably finish off around the draft, probably somewhere around 10 updates total for this year. We'll see what happens as we get closer to all that stuff. But definitely go and enjoy the roster, and we'll see you all in the next video.